Hi, I'm Suzanne with Backyard University, and today we're going to talk about homemade frog repellent for your yards. But before we do, I need to ask, do you really want to get rid of your frogs? Frogs are natural repellents to insects such as flies, crickets, spiders, slugs, grasshoppers, and even locusts. In fact, Frogs will eat almost anything they see flying around and can grab. To put this in perspective, one single frog can eat up to 10,000 insects in one season. Unfortunately, that number includes a few helpful insects, such as butterflies and honeybees. But if frogs can't find the insects to eat, you might find them nibbling on your plants. And if you have a large property with an infestation, the croaking at night during the mating season in the spring and summer months can be less than pleasant. So if you're looking to get rid of frogs but don't want to use harsh chemicals, here we go. There are several do-it-yourself remedies to get rid of frog infestations that are cost-effective and environmentally safe. First, the decoy. Using a frog's natural predator is one of the best ways to naturally repel frogs. Frogs are more likely to find another place to live if they think there's a snake or a crocodile lurking. So simply place a fake snake or other predator such as an owl around where you've seen the frogs. Just be sure to move the decoy around so the frogs don't catch on. Another way to repel frogs is to eliminate standing water. Frogs love water and most need water to lay their eggs. By eliminating their water source, they'll look elsewhere to call home. So check your decks, patios, and other areas for puddles. Don't forget to use plants that naturally repel frogs in your garden beds. You will love the fragrance, but they will keep the frogs away. You can try plants such as lemongrass, basil, marigolds, lavender, and citronella. You can also plant succulents. Planting succulents may not repel frogs by fragrance, but they do deprive the frog of any moisture therefore a great choice in repelling frogs. You can also use herbs like garlic. Frogs hate the smell of garlic. So if you crush a few cloves around the areas where you've seen them, they're likely to go next door. Coffee grounds are another great frog repellent. The acidity in coffee grounds will burn the frog's feet, making them go elsewhere. By adding coffee grounds to your soil, You'll also be fertilizing your soil with nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, making it perfect for acid-loving plants like hydrangelas, azaleas, and lily of the valley. Now we're on to homemade sprays. You can make a spray from items you probably have seen lying around in the house. All are easy and inexpensive options, like vinegar, this homemade mixture works by stinging the frog's feet, making them hop to another yard. And not only will it repel frogs, but flies, gnats, mosquitoes, and fleas. You can use regular white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Mix half vinegar with half water in a spray bottle and spray the ground where you've seen the frogs. It's that easy. But since vinegar is also a great weed killer, don't spray your plants or you may end up hurting the plants you were trying to protect. Another homemade spray is peppermint. Peppermint oil can be found in many organic sprays you might find in Home Depot or even Amazon. But you can also mix up a batch yourself. To mix, fill a spray bottle with about two cups of water. Add 10 to 20 drops of peppermint essential oil and spray the area. Peppermint oil will also repel fleas, aphids, ants, and mosquitoes, making it a big win-win. If you've succeeded in getting rid of unwanted frogs, 
You may wish to add a barrier around the perimeter of your home to avoid future infestation. To do this, you may want a super homemade potion. You will need a bucket, vinegar, lemon juice, hot sauce, peppermint or clove oil. In the bucket, mix vinegar with equal parts of water, then add a dash of each additional ingredient. Pour evenly around the perimeter, building a barrier. Keep in mind the vinegar can hurt the plants, so use it appropriately. We do have a few additional helpful tips to help keep those frogs away. First, keep your grass short so there's less cover for the frogs. Second, fill any holes they may use as burrows. Third, remove sources of water from your yard, such as bird baths, dog bowls, standing water on porches and patios. And fourth, limit outdoor lighting at night, since this attracts bugs that attracts frogs. And finally, keep your yard clean from debris, such as trash, fallen branches, and leaves that are attractive to frogs. By using these simple steps, we at Backyard University believe you will quickly find your yard frog free. Thanks for watching. Click the links below for more information as well as recommended products.